Good morning, good morning. Do 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 do. Good morning, good morning to you. Welcome to a daily dose of joy shower edition. <laughs> it's summertime and things are just happening on the fly and exciting opportunities. We had an opportunity to spend the night at my folks last night because my brother's in town and staying with them and just huddling us all up close and together. So we jumped on it, but I realized when I got up this morning to record for you guys that um, I can't go do a laughter flow out in the main part of the house or I'll wake everybody up. So here we are in the bathroom. <laughs> We're just gonna record our whoopsie daisy story from the shower. <laughs> the singing, I think, sounded pretty good. It was like shower singing this morning. Um, so thank you for showing up every day with me to optimize the dose chemistry in your brain, to elevate your state. And when we play these games throughout the day, taking little five minute pauses to either rest into slow-mo flows and deeper truths, or let the joy flow and get into a really playful place with a laughter flow of whoopsie daisy story. And those dose ditties can take us in either way. They can be a lullaby as we go to sleep. We can use a dose ditty from our memory to entertain us and make us laugh when we're doing the dishes. So find ways to integrate these microdosing tools throughout your day. That is my challenge for you today to see how many places you can plug a microdosing tool in so that you are optimizing your brain chemistry in a playful, easy way that you can sustain over time, but that has dramatic effects. We are increasing the dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins in our brain. And today we're gonna do it with some whoopsie daisy stories. So let's see here. Okay, well, this may be a little out of school, but I'm gonna tell it. I was on the phone, was here at my folks' house. Yes, it's been here for a bit, and I was on a phone call on speakerphone. And um, my mom came to the room, she said, oh, just, just one minute, just one minute, I just have one question. <laughs> but you can see, I was talking about the phone's there, she knew I was on the phone, she'd say, just a minute. I'm like, okay, and she, <laughs> holds up these underwear and she's like yeah they accidentally sent me control top underwear and I don't like them I don't want them but I don't think I can return them you know can you just wear these and I'm like no mom I don't wear this kind of underwear <laughs> and she just goes on and on about the particular underwear that she purchased and was just trying to find a good home for them and so I say I'll take them you know I'll, I'll get them to the to the goodwill, you know, like I'll, I'll find something to do here. And uh, so my friend, when I get back on the phone, she's been just laughing. Cause I, I mean, it was funny. It was a very funny conversation over here. And it was just sort of like, whoopsie daisy. So then the two of us started laughing and she said, wow, that sounds like a conversation I'd have with my mom. The mom comes back in, she's laughing. She's like, oh, what was I thinking? You know, just, while you're on the phone. <laughs> oh, oh, so that was, that was one hanging out with your folks whoopsie daisy story. That, that's like, it's a great font. Hang out with your folks or your kids and you run into lots of whoopsie daisy stories. <laughs> um, so another one for our visit was we're having a great time. We're out playing Ruby Q with the family and Charles gets really sleepy. Ooh, he comes up to the bathroom, but he doesn't want to turn on the light because he's falling asleep downstairs. He comes up to this bathroom, but he doesn't want to turn on the light. I guess he just doesn't want to wake himself up, I guess, but he's great about brushing his teeth. He's a good toothbrusher. Well, this is also a sink that, you know, my parents use. So there's things around the sink. His toothbrush, toothpaste are sitting here on the side of the sink. But there's all sorts of other things on this sink. So in the dark, he picks up this, which is shaped very similarly to his toothpaste tube. 
and he proceeds to, to put sunscreen all over his toothbrush. And he's so tired, he says he swirled it all in his mouth before he realized. And that totally woke him up. Then he calls down, Mom! And we're in here like washing his mouth. It's kind of numbing his tongue. It feels weird. But we had a good laugh out of it. It was definitely another whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy travel stories. You know, when you're out of your element, things can go wobbly. <laughs> so how do you find the humor in those things that go wobbly? How can you shift your perspective, see it from a different angle? Okay, let's see. Now, those are just stuff that happened in the last 48 hours. <laughs> Let me see if I can, on this theme. Lord knows I've had lots of speakerphone mishaps. <laughs> speakerphone in her kitchen she was cooking dinner and her husband came home from dinner and and like she calls him says I'm, I'm on the phone back in the kitchen but I guess he didn't hear that I'm on the phone he comes into the kitchen is like mm, baby mm, welcome home <laughs> and I'm like hi Paul you know? like Jiminy Cricket on the counter because <laughs> I was like oh, better alert him before who knows <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, there's always a humorous twist. So I hope today delights you, surprises you, and gives you an opportunity to um, take an unusual situation, like uh, doing whoopsie daisy stories from the shower and the bathroom, and being able to let it be a source of laughter and joy for you. I know our joy and laughter is waiting around every turn just to pop its head out in all sorts of unusual ways. Thank you for doing this with me. Let's take three gentle breaths in solidarity. Thank you for bearing with me in the whoopsie daisies from the bathroom. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.